very ultra special taster review so it's still a little bit longer before it's ready for bottling um, but I was given a surprise at Fire Rock Berlin the other day the surprise was their collaboration with Mr Urban Chicken Ale Darren and at 12.4 percent I think it's a blueberry and maple um, stout so imperial stout so I've got the bottle here and uh, yeah look there fire times urban on the back 12.4 blueberry maple that's what I put on so whoa uh, massive thanks to fire rock brewing for for you know giving me the chance to have a quick sample see what it's like I am going to buy the bottle when it comes out anyway so uh, let's have a go so Put it in a glass that befits its, um, I think the Emperor's Brewery glass, because of Imperial Stouts, it quite, it's quite befitting. So, there we go, lovely black pour, I think it needs carving, I think that's what they said they've got to do. But in any case, wah, hey. Not often, I, not often I even get urban chicken ale. Uh, I had to wait nearly a year between drinks. I don't think it was that long actually, because I went to the Burnt Pig last year and managed to... But I entered, I entered a cannabis for a long time. Um, yeah, that's been a good while. I'm suddenly getting a nuttiness from the Imperial Stout straight away. Bloody hell. The sweetness from the blueberry to start off with. The maple kicks in and, and it's quite... Um, Feels like it's aged. The maple, it's it's got a, a, there's a kick to the maple side of things. Oh, let the air get to it. What it's all about, isn't it? You know, uh, when, when you come across a beer like this, and it's a true privilege, you know, thank you, Fire Rock Brewing, for, 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 you know, for even offering. I mean, I, you know, uh, didn't ask or anything. That's, that's just not the way I am. I don't do things like that. Um, um, wow. And this has still got time yet to mature. You know, as you know with Imperial Stouts, for those who brew Imperial Stouts, a maturity is king. So uh, it's tasting very, very good. So if you don't know anything about Fire Rock Brewing and Urban Chicken and why this is quite special. Um, Fire Rock Brewing are a local brewery based in Sutton and Ashfield. So literally 12 or so miles that way. Um based on, there's a street called, I think it's Outroom Street. It's both a brewery, but it's a brewery, a craft bar, a uh, little micro pub craft bar, tap room sort of thing. And it's got a bottle shop as well, and uh, two fridges, selection of bottles outside of the fridge, and merch. So, you know, they're hitting it from all bases, and they actually work as well. This is only their part-time job. Stunning, really, stunning. I'm surprised they've even got the energy to do it, to be fair, but I suppose it's what you get out of it, isn't it? You know, it's uh, what you put in, you get back. Um, sometimes, at least in life. Darren, uh, Mr. Urban Chicken Ale. So, obviously, that was Neil and Danny from Firework Brewing. Danny, uh, Darren, rather, Mr. Urban Chicken Ale. He's been brewing for 20 years because I, I've seen his uh, the photo of his old kit. 
and uh, been 10 commercial in 2016, I think it was. Um, just upgraded to a 500 litre kit about a year ago, I think it said it was. And uh, he's using the old Alter Ego kit now, bought that off them. And I mean, it's great. Great to see the him going up and getting bigger and bigger. And, uh, you know, if you look on Untapped, there's a reason why. Um, he's doing so well because the micro pubs already buy his beers. He hasn't got a wait to sell them. They're already bought before he brews. How amazing is that? And uh, yeah, it truly is. Um, for me, I, I do wish that the Nanos, I know Robin Hood Beer Festival do a small bar dedicated to the Nanos. But I tell you now, I, I personally think the bar needs to be at least twice the size and more from each brewery. These are the future. They can't afford to run a brewery bar themselves. Can't be done. But um, I do think that more of their beers need to be at the beer festival this year. You know, five or six from each of them, the ones that can do it. Fire Rock need to be there, either on the keg or cask bar. Um, or on both. Someone's talking in the garden. So, oh, it's as yet untitled. Um, I think it ought to be why did the chicken cross the road myself? But that must have been just me. Oh, fire chicken. The blueberry maple imperial stout. The chicken on fire. The chicken's on fire. Hey. <laughs> I suppose you, there's lots, you, you know, there's lots of, you, 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 there's the fire and the rock and the chicken. Rock chicken, fire. Urban fire chicken. Sounds like something you get from KFC. To be honest. Yeah, don't go to my local KFC. Yeah. They just ignore you for five minutes, then look around and like, yeah, what do you want? And uh, so, really enjoying this. Oh, that's a sweet element that just hit home there. It's one of them beers you could sit down and truly pick apart trying to get flavours. See so the sweetness of the brewery, the brewery then hits home at the beginning. Then as it starts to go down, the maple is kicking in behind it. Oh, that is dangerously drinkable. Now, as far as I know, this is going into bottles. So, um, Oh, that 12.4% really, really kicks in. Oh, my gosh, that is absolutely stunning. Oh. And I've had some banging beers recently. This is what makes, makes beer reviewing for me. What makes it so fun and so good and so invigorating? Is that you'll come along a bit about this and it uh, just reaffirms you know last year I had a bit of a period where it was IPA after IPA and to be honest they were bland some of them were 
at a certain brewery in the supermarket. It didn't really go down well. Um, but um, complexities on the taste are just out there. And like I say, this has got this has got probably another two weeks or so to mature. That is tasting amazing. Ooh. Well, that was a treat. That was a raggy treat. So, this is a taster version of what's coming. Uh, don't know the actual name of it. Not yet. Um, I still think why I did the chicken cross the road is quite funny, really. Because he crossed the road to go to the train station. And uh, yeah, it's funny. Um, although the chicken's on fire. Yeah. Fire chicken. Muck, muck. Um, yeah, there's lots of there's lots of variables in there. Um, for me, very nice brewery maple. Imperial Stout, 12.4%. I'm really feeling the warmth in my belly from it. Lots of complexities on the taste. Good aroma. Um, that was really, really nice. And uh, God knows what it's going to taste like when it hits bottle. You know, I know from home brewing. And I've been a home brewer since, God, 2006. Yeah, because I was at the Arboretum and I was making beer then. I lived, we lived here still then. So we've been here 19 years, so since about 2003. So, yeah, I'd say not long after I decided to start getting into homebrew. So about 2006, I started doing my own beers. Um, yeah, so. But yeah, absolutely stunning beer. If I'm going to give it a score, A good 4.58 at the moment. I expect it to go up because of ageing a bit more. But yeah, absolute winner winner kitchen dinner. A winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> uh, oh, I could go on all day. But um, yeah, that is absolutely amazing. Um, it's coming soon to bottle as far as I know. Uh, I think it's only coming to bottle. And... Uh, and that's a great thing because there's a lot of people who cannot get urban chicken ale in cans and bottles. So for once, uh, this collaboration is really, really good. Two great breweries collaborating together. And three nice chaps. You know, you couldn't meet three nice and lovely people. Uh, and that's genuinely nice people. You know, um, I take everybody, I, I, as somebody who suffers crappy anxiety, uh, I listen to how people are and what they say, and, and what they do and things like that. I, you know, you read people, don't you? So, um, but yeah, stunning people, stunning beer. Oh, can't wait for it to be in bottle. Um, this video will come online pretty soon um i've got a bit of a backlog now of fire rock brewing beer reviews simply because i picked them about eight of their beers uh was it eight yeah i think it was i had eight beers the other day yeah there was also so i'm trying not to to to, to burn the channel with lots of lots of reviews but yeah i've had some amazing beers and it's been truly um yeah, it's truly great and uh, supporting locals, you know, I, as a local person to Nottinghamshire, you know, East Midlands, very proud of where we live, you know, no, we're not, not perfect, uh, I'm certainly not perfect, you know, um, but I try to be a good person. Um, thank you for watching, see you soon, cheers all. Excellent beer, keep an eye out for it.
Hoch.